have to get out of here. That's the only way we're gonna stay alive and see our kids again. Nobody leaves this prison alive. Do you trust me? Trust me. I promise you will both get out of here. I'm not going alone. I'm not leaving this place without you. I can't imagine my life without you. I can't imagine my life without you anymore either. What you said earlier, it wasn't true, right? Every word. <sighs> I thought about it since the very first day I fixed those pipes. At first, it was more of an illusion. A small flicker of hope that gets me through the days. But then I realized there was more than that. We're not going to see in your all those years without seeing our kids. And I know you understand what I'm saying. You have every right to see your daughter. What's your plan? Listen, the only way that you and I can be on the same yard is when you cross the man's side to cut their hair. Yes, I'll cross in two weeks on, on Monday. That's going to be the exact moment for us to break out. Break out. I wish we could now, before those bastards have a chance to hurt you again. <laughs> What's funny? I'll keep him off limits. I can take care of myself, okay? <laughs> Continue with your plan. Tell me. On Sunday, I'll ask for you to visit me again. We'll go over every last detail, but the plan is to do it on Monday. Yes. Let's start. The idea is to clog the prison pipes so that I can work on fixing them the same day. But what I'm gonna do is break them completely. Cause terrible damage to the pipes. I'm gonna beat the patio, cutting the inmate's hair, but only for two hours, starting at 10 in the morning. In order to do that, I'm gonna need several things to make a homemade bomb. What I'll do with them is generate small explosions inside the electricity room. Why in the electricity room? Because that's the area furthest from the hallway, and it takes us directly to the supplier's parking lot. Everything I just told you will make the place split up two different ways. At 12, at the dining room, the inmates will all be there. DSL, DSL, come on, move it quickly! If they catch you with those homemade bombs before the day, you're dead. No. Esperanza, don't worry, I have the perfect plan to hide them. The only thing that worries me is the time factor. 
I still don't know how much time it takes to activate the bombs and make it back on time. No, my time is fine. After cutting everyone's hair, I go to the bathroom alone to throw the garbage out. Ballard used to help me, but he'd rather get his lunch earlier. So I have the perfect amount of time. It has to be done at noon. One more thing, Esperanza. What? Nobody else can know about this plan. It's too dangerous. Okay. Not even Murray Bell. Very good, plumber. It seems like you finally did a decent job. Finally. Thanks, Gutierrez. That's the way I like it. Never change, okay? Okay. All right. That's how I like it. See you later. You okay? Yeah, all good. Gutierrez. Gutierrez. What is it, Sierra? I see you've become really good friends with the inmates. I'll have to ask you for transfer. No, why do you say that, Sierra? Well, because I see you chatting with that plumber guy. Have you forgotten that he was the one who screwed up my arm? On the contrary. I made sure he got what he deserved. Do what? You think that makes things even? The man doesn't know what's waiting for him now that I've come back. All right, my shift is over. I'll see you later. Gutierrez. Tell me, who was the plumber with in his conjugal visit? Esperanza Gomez. Can I go now? Go. Why do you look so upset? Was your love date that bad or what? Julian is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Excuse me, I thought I was. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. It's just that it, well, it sounds as if you're giving me some bad news. Julian is the best thing that has ever happened. Come on, get excited. Tell me something new. How'd it go? I'm tired. Oh, I know. The plumber left you like a baby sucker, no, don't right? Don't say that. Oh, me, tell me everything. Hey. Can you keep a secret? Well, obviously. What? I think I fell in love. Oh, come on, that's not a secret. Although I'm really happy for you, you know? I'm really happy to see you so happy, so radiant. The worthy man who deserves you. All right. In all other right. words, stop talking so much. Oh, we have to start thinking about the wedding, because I'll be maid of honor, hey, right? Just calm down. Why don't you pray to Mother Mary for a little bit and go to bed, okay? No, 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 no. Tell me. I'm excited. Oh, honey, you look tired. Let's talk about the wedding dress. Oh, I'm going to bed. I said I'm and... tired. I'm going to bed. Go to bed. Oh no. You never tell me anything. I told you not to come back here. Why didn't you listen? You think I'm gonna leave you alone in this? You should. Julian, things aren't going as I expected. I feel like I failed you. We both know that you did the best you could, Patty. Have you told me everything, Julian? What? Were you and Camilla in a relationship? Are you seriously asking me that? Yes, I'm asking you because everything <gasps> seems to be confusing. Stop killing yourself over this case. It's a dead-end road. You have to see that. Are you going to accept the idea of staying in this hole? I'm gonna find the witness. And how are you gonna do that here? <sighs> I'm gonna find out who's so obsessed with ruining my life. That's what I'll do. <sighs> That's what I'll do. I'll be back 
in two weeks. Shut up, you lot. What are you doing? That's none of your business, rat. Up yours. I did nothing! I didn't do anything! Leave him alone, man! Yeah, leave him alone! <sighs> so what? You can't think of sleeping about Julian or what? No, I can't sleep thinking about him. <sighs> that man is driving you crazy. Get out. I have some news for you, plumber. Esperanza's gonna be mine. Not because I asked her to, you hear me? She's, she's gonna beg me. Do you understand? Huh? Never you understand. <laughs> Patricia, I'm busy. Mariana, why are you doing this to Julian? Why won't you let him see his son? Some other time, okay? Are you kicking me out? You're coming here with the attitude. No, I'm the one who doesn't understand your attitude. Patricia, please, Samuel's right there. Listen, I've said to you, there are visiting days every 40 days for children. If you want, we can get special permission. But your son has the right to see his dad. Listen, I know what's best for my son, and I'm doing it precisely for him. The best thing for your son is to grow up knowing that his father loves him, who is going through a really difficult time, and you have to explain to him what really happened. And what do you expect me to tell him? That his father's a murderer, and he has to see him in prison? Do you know what kind of hell he's going through, Patricia? I don't have one cent. I'm alone. I can't find a job, and they kicked my son out of the school bus this morning because I haven't paid. You're blaming and you're punishing Julian. Being in prison for a crime that he didn't commit, that is true hell! Don't you think that if that supposed witness isn't showing up, maybe she doesn't If exist? she's not showing up, it's because somebody doesn't want her to show up. Get it? Someone like who? Like the person that is behind everything that's happening to Julian. No. The thing I can't stand is listen, this torture. Listen, playing the role of the unconditional wife was too big for you and now you want a divorce. I can understand that. But a very different thing is that you don't want to or you won't let your son see his dad. I don't understand that. Okay? Mom. Why don't you want me to see my dad anymore? Oh, Patricia, thank you. Sammy. Baby. Sammy, please, I asked you not to lock the door. Please come out. We, we need to talk. Open the door, honey. Let me explain my love. Sammy. Sammy. <sighs> Cheer up. You know your son's not going to be locked in his room forever. You really don't know him too well. He's just like his dad. I don't understand why you still let Patricia come here. She's always going to deny that Julian did it. You know that. Yeah, but she's right. The situation between Samuel and Julian is more complicated every day. Sammy misses his dad terribly. And the more I think about it, I don't think he's going to forgive me in the future for hiding the truth from him. Marie. Marie. Don't you think things would be better if you were also in a good place? Your son would understand. What do you mean? 
Well, you stopped visiting Julian, that's true. But you haven't officially ended your relationship. Yes, I know. I have to take care of the divorce papers. And take them to him. Okay, you have to take them to him. That's the most important thing. You have to end that radically. It's the only way you'll be able to end the cycle. And it's the only way you and your son will be all right. Look at you. Look at you. Come on. Look at all the anguish you're carrying. You don't deserve it. <laughs> Promise me you'll think about it. Hmm? What are you waiting for, huh? An invitation or what? Get move along. Move, move it, it, move it, move it. Yeah, come on, you lot. Hey, you, move it, get along. The plumber got beat up pretty bad. Sombra found out that he's in the hole, but he's alive. Gus. the beginning. Sierra warned him. And he could beat Julian to death, you know? So? So we have to do something before... Before what? Before they kill him. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me what we need to do then. I have everything figured out. Don't worry, relax. Arjita, can I ask you a favor? I need to see Sierra. Door. Guerra. Get out. I would have met you in one of the conjugal cells. I called you because I need to talk to you. I'm going to be yours. No, baby, you're really crazy for that plumber. Look at you. As soon as I touched him, you came here to tell me that. I give you my word. But one condition. Now, don't you dare come with me to stupid conditions. Don't be such an idiot. In 12 days is our next conjugal visit. Let me talk to him and explain that our relationship is over. That I'm yours, but don't touch him again. And leave him alone. Just so you see that I have a good heart, I'm gonna give you permission for one conjugal visit. Go, take advantage of it, cure his wounds. Talk to him about us, but I don't want any type of contact, you understand? A man's life depends on it. Guard Reiter! So stupid. Doing this for a man, he, he doesn't deserve it. I know what I'm doing. You don't know anything. What are you waiting for? Report that man for harassment. <laughs> What's wrong? Why don't you start a hey, scandal? Hey, don't worry. 
I already talked to Sierra and he promised he wasn't going to mess with her. Of course, and you believed him, right? Because Sierra's word is so worthy. What makes you think that man isn't going to hurt Julian? I'm going to give him whatever he wants. <laughs> what do you mean you're going to give him everything he wants? Come here, come here. How can you think I was going to be with that man? Can Can, I have something to tell you. Come here, come here. I'm gonna break out with Julian after the next conjugal visit. Have you two gone mad or what? We've been playing this for months, but first of all, my rebel, I want to apologize to you for not telling you before. Everything has been carefully figured out. I don't want to hurt you. I was afraid to tell you since you were staying here. They're gonna ask you for the information and I don't want something bad to happen to you because I would never forgive myself. Don't think that I haven't thought about this. I don't know how to get you to the male wing. Are you listening to yourself? What's wrong with you? Don't even think about me, no ma'am. Besides, I have only 14 months in here and you have 11 years. Relax about me. I'll be out of here soon. I like your plan, I support you. What do I have to do? Tell me. Thousands call is the lucky one. Go ahead. Call. <laughs> Try it, man. Ricardo, we get that, please. My son, God damn you. Hey, are my shoes over there? Mariana. Who was that? Banks. Do you need a credit card? I can't even afford the ones I have on. And don't even to offer pay things for me. Okay, let's not talk about money. But lunch is on me. I invited you. you're doing here. I was convinced you were still confused regarding my innocence. Julian, Patricia convinced me that you're innocent. There is a witness, but somebody wants her gone. Forgive me. Forgive you? <laughs> you know how long I've been waiting for a witness to show up? <laughs> I don't care about the evidence or the sentence, Ricardo. I didn't do it. I know you didn't do it. Thanks for coming here to tell me that. It's not the only reason I came. There's something else. I don't know if it's worth it, though. Look at you. It doesn't matter. You're really. locked up here. It doesn't matter. Tell me. Mariana is dating someone. And 
Sammy. Sammy, is, is he okay? You seen him? Very little. Ever since I told Mariana that I believe you're innocent, she changed her attitude. She doesn't let me visit them anymore. I argued with her, but you know how she gets yeah, I know. She won't let me see him either. Brother, let me do something for you. I promise I'll try and convince Mariana to change her mind. And at least let you see her son again. Ricardo, I appreciate it. But I know her. She won't change her mind. So are you gonna accept not being able to see your son again? No. No, of course not. My case is about to be resolved. I don't understand. Does Patricia have new evidence? Look, I can't tell you anything right now, but every day that goes by, I'm closer to proving my innocence. He sounded really convincing. Yes, I know the damn witness is nowhere. But what if Patricia has new information? I know that too. Julian won't get out unless that witness shows up. You know what? Stop talking so much and do things right, or I'll find someone else. I mean, I just don't understand why you went there. I wanted to see his face, and for him to tell me why he killed my wife. And you know how he reacted? He was aggressive, Mariana. But I, I don't understand. Julian has never been aggressive like that. Well, you told me how he reacted when you told him that you weren't going to take his son to see him. Prison changes people, Mariana. He's become a monster. And I'm glad there were guards there because you have no idea the transformation he had. He wanted to choke me. He tried to kill me. And he started screaming barbaric things against everybody, especially you, Mariana. Against me? Yes, Marie, yes. He said he hated you and that he didn't want to see you ever again. The Julian I saw today is a man full of resentment. Mariana, you have to take him the divorce papers. Change your phone number, cut the ties you have with him, it's for your own good. For Samuel, do it, please, you have to believe me. You know what, Ricardo, I'm tired. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yes, of course, yes. I'm sorry. Mm. Goodbye. Bye. Sierra, couldn't take me on your own? Don't worry, Spaniard. Your girlfriend saved your life. What'd you do? Nothing. Yet. If you want to, you can ask her in your next conjugal visit. What are you saying? Ah! <laughs> what are you gonna do when you get out of here? You know what? I have thought about it. I think about it every day, all day, in the afternoon, morning, and what night. What are you gonna do? What? 
small hotel. Uh, not just any hotel, a small hotel by the sea. A really pretty one in Tayrona. Oh, it's so beautiful. Really pretty because I've seen it in pictures and I have a cousin that lives over there. His name is Santi and he grew up with me. He got tired of all this, you know? I remember he said he was going to start a hotel. Its name is Luna, by the way. That's nice. So, anyway, I stayed here in trouble. But it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter because I want to change. I want to be over there with him. I want to see the ocean for the first time. In other words, I want to do everything. Make my dreams come true, just like he did. You know what? Our dreams are very similar because I promise you, I am going to end up over there with all of my loved ones. Mm -hmm. You know what? You're right, Yegua. Yeah, we're going to make it. And you want to know why? Because we're tough, Yegua. Yeah, because hey, we can do anything. Listen. Promise me something. Promise. Promise me that we're gonna see each other again by the sea. And we're gonna be together again. <sighs> promise me. I promise you. <laughs> With a couple of black guys, Yegwe, because <laughs> that's what I deserve. And I'll wear a bikini. I look really <laughs> hot in a bikini. <laughs> hey! Come on, move out of here orderly now. Come on, move it, move Come it, on. move it. Diego, Diego, now if that bastard sees you, he'll start harassing you. Come on. Come on, move it. Go, 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 go! I can't go to bed now. I have some work to do at the boilers. It doesn't matter, Plumber. You can do it tomorrow. No, no, it won't hold till tomorrow. It won't hold. I don't know what to say to you, Spaniard. If I don't fix it, this place will flood with shit again. I'll get into trouble for not doing my job. And so will you, for not letting me do mine. It's up to you. <sighs> All right, Spaniard. <sighs> I hope you know how it's gonna be. Yeah. I'm gonna do my rounds. Behave. Sure. Later. Hey, what's hey, up? Guys, what are you doing here? We talked to Gutierrez and he let us come to visit you for a while. We wanted to know how you're doing with the pipes and if you need any help. No, Sumber, no. I have to work, seriously. I can imagine. <sighs> Bottling up water, plumber. <sighs> this is alcohol. This is chlorine. They're for the pipes. They're full of sulfates. Okay. Why didn't you ask the guards for that? Why do you have to miss those <sighs> people? What are you planning, plumber? Nothing. Don't tell me you want to go for a Sunday stroll outside La Bendita. Nothing moves inside this prison without my authorization. So start talking. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait. Sarah told me you saved my life. What did he mean? I made a deal with Sierra. To keep him from touching you. Wait, no. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, I told him I would be with him tomorrow after this visit. No. It's all right. Don't worry, don't worry. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. If we get out of here tomorrow, 
Sierra won't touch me. Tell me, how is the plan going? There's... There's something I have to tell you, and I'm not sure you're gonna like it. What's wrong? What's wrong? Sombra and Pastor are coming with us. But... Listen. Listen to me. I know, but they saw the bottles. I had no choice. I don't trust him at all. That man has ratted out a ton of people in this prison. Yeah, I know. They activate the bombs. The rest of the plan still stays. It stays. Nothing changes. What's wrong? <sighs> what if something fails? Nothing is gonna fail, okay? Nothing. They're not gonna betray us. Not if they want in. I promise. What is the first thing you want to do when you get out of here? <sighs> See Samuel. Tell him how much I love him. Tell him everything. Everything that happened. <sighs> I'm dying to hug Michaela. <sighs> Kiss her all over. Get to know her. Kiss her all over. I swear, but... It's not going to be easy for her. No, 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 no. You'll get to know her. You'll get to know her. Yes. <sighs> Our reality is going to be hiding all over the country, but I don't care. As long as I get to leave this prison. Now listen to me, listen to me. When I've proven my innocence, I'm going to get you the best lawyer to prove that you acted in self-defense. The best lawyer out there, you hear me? The best. I promise. Promise me. What? <sighs> Look at me. I'm not gonna fail you. I'm not gonna fail you, Esperanza. I promise you. I'm gonna buy you dinner in front of the ocean. And we'll go dancing and everything. <laughs> <sighs> but we have to hear the waves. With the waves. <sighs> we must hear them. <sighs> and we're gonna see those flamingos you dream of, Esperanza. Baby. You have to believe. You have to believe that life after so much of torture can only be better, okay? Yes. And tomorrow will be the first step to making it. The first step to making it come true. To making it. to the kitchen, and you, Esperanza, move it. You should have been in the mail wing at 10 sharp. One of the pipes broke. I'll have it fixed what in an the hour. Hell? Okay, an hour, sir. Please. No, you, an hour. You better fix All right. this. All right. Diego. Diego. Good luck outside. Okay. 
and tell your daughter I said hello. Ken Ken, you know you're part of my family. Take care. You'll continue this romance in a couple of hours. Esperanza, move it. What's your problem? Calm down. Here, let me fix your hair. Same as last time. Next up. The usual? I want to look really elegant, but it has to be fast. Ricardo, the lawyer you recommended me tells me the only thing I'm missing is for Julian to sign the divorce papers and it will be legally resolved. Thank you. You know I'm at your service, Marie. Laura, you can send this now. Now we have to make sure he gets them in prison. When's visiting day? Next week, but I'm not capable of taking them. Yeah, it's better if you don't. We'll ask the lawyer, okay? If it's possible, that will be better. Yeah, I think so. How are you? How do you feel about this? Well, um... Here it is. Ah, good. Thank you. Uh, the only thing I know is that I'm doing this for Samuel. What about you? Don't you think you deserve to be happy? Move on? Look, I'm not the best for advice, but... Sooner or later, you're gonna have to move on, Mariana. It's just so hard. It's not impossible. I really miss Julian. I miss the life we had together. Our, our family, our house, everything we built together. Me too. It's been so hard for me without Camilla, but what can I do? I have to move on. And you know what? I think that's why I worked so hard, because I'd rather be here than be at home alone. Mr. Ricardo, you have a phone call. Can you transfer it here? Yes, sir. All right, Ricardo, I came to say thanks, but I can see you're really busy. No, I'm never too busy for you. <laughs> me neither. Cheer up. Cheer up, because you're the person who keeps me standing. I really admire you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. Yeah. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette, and when I come back, this better be fixed. Yeah, sure. Understood? It will. For your it own will. good. Yeah, sure. What are you doing? Ugh. Hey, I'm starving. What's going on here, it's brother? It's complicated, Chief. Hold on. How much it's longer? How much longer? I need an hour. One hour. One damn hour? One hour. I'll How do it. How much longer? One I'm hour. starving. I swear. I want to go eat. Uh, when I come back, I want to see everything right, fixed, right. everything done. Do you understand? I'm sorry. One hour. I promise. You think I'm an idiot? <clears throat> God, talk. These are homemade bombs. Talk. <clears throat> talk. Thank you, Mr. Pedro. Thank you as always. Miss Gomez. Yes? I'm here to keep you company. It's gonna be today. 
Much time. Dog! Got a dog! After the explosions to the supplier's area. Shut up! No, shut up! Now let's make a deal. I'm gonna let you go, but you have to kill the plumber first. Either he dies, or you die. Do you understand, Sombra? You're new, right? I've never seen you here before. Um, let me explain how things go. I've been doing this many years, let me explain. Um, I take the trash out and guard reader goes with me and takes me to the prison, okay? You got it? Is that clear? My order is to stay by your side, so move it. Take your eyes off that inmate. I need one minute. Yes, sir. Understood. Move it. Back up for zone F. I repeat, back up for zone F. Code yellow. I repeat, an explosion in the electrical room. Over. Plumber, is everything okay? Yeah. Everything's okay. We can't Patrick relax. Patrick should have been here. Now, too bad. If they don't come... No, Summer. You're not going to screw things up. You think I'm going to leave you alone in this? What's wrong with you? Hey, what are you doing over here? Don't worry, rookie, relax. Come on, man, come on. No, 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 no. calm down, calm down, calm down. What are you doing? What are you doing, What are you doing? Are you doing? Are you doing? You have to down. kill this man. No, no, no we have no, to kill this man. Wait. Put it down. Hey. We've got to get the hell out of here. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. go. Move it. Let's go, come on. Let's go. Come on. to Sierra for me. Let's go. Let's go. Right alert. The inmates are trying to escape through the zone. Martinez, you go with him. You, come here. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. No, relax, keep relax. relax. Come on. Come on, quickly. Keep moving. Come on, come on, they're getting away. Move it, move it, move it. Start the truck, plumber. 
Start the truck, plumber! We did jack shit! Lanyard, this is as far as you go. No! Brother. Come on! Uh. You can make it! Hurry! No! Don't let them get away! Shoot the yes, blue get truck! Up. The blue truck! Get down! It's the blue truck. Two dangerous fugitives. Over. Let's go. Get up. Get up. You couldn't wait to run Let after the plumber and escape. Let go. Let go of me. Get up, I said. Get up. Get up. And take this dog to the hole right now. Do you want me to take her to the hole? Did I ask that? Take care of Sombra. Come on, take your Sombra to Move the it. hole! You're gonna pay for this little joke. <laughs> uh, What's the matter, Plumber? Did they hit you? I'm fine, it's just a scratch. <sighs> we did it, Plumber! We did it, Plumber! We did it! We did, we did, we did nothing. We did nothing. Esperanza. We left Esperanza! Esperanza's supposed to be here! We carried out the plan. Think about it. Everything went wrong. Help me! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up or I'll punch your teeth out. What do you think? That we're going to escape that easily with the plumber? Look at me! You're going to be mine the easy way or the hard way. However the hell I want it. Oh, my dead body! You probably taste better dead. Una producción de CMO Producciones para Caracol Televisión Internacional.